Great season thus far, 10 wins from 13 starts. Public thinks she can get back on track tonight. She is the four to five favorite. It's post time for race number 11. Here they come. They're often pacing, leaving out hard down the center. Blazing Bridges going out with her Tequila Monday. Up in between horses early, Blue Moon Stride. Far outside is Shark Note of Trouble in the early going. Then it's back inside to Nike Franco, taking back his Lions River Pride. Further back we go to find L.A. Delight, then Artistic Madison, Firebee, and the Joy Lock Club is trailing into the opening turn. Blazing Bridges to the front, but under attack as Sharton is rolling for T Trick. Opening quarter is 25 and 4. A uh, first turn, small. Smoke show. And on the outside, T Trick about to clear as he puts the hustle on Sharton. She grabs the racetrack. Back into second now is Blazing Bridges. Right there with them from in third. Travels along Tequila Monday. Fourth to the inside. There's Blue Moon Stride. She gets underway for Callahan now. He'd like to try and fish out cover, but the bottom of the line is first overtime for Blue Moon Stride. Grabbing her cover though comes Lions River Pride. She's a toad up fifth. Six locked up is Nike Franco. Seven into the flow comes L.A. Delight, then Artistic Madison. Firebee is shuffled towards the rail, and outside the Joy Luck Club, they've gone a 54-2 and two opening half. They head towards the far turn, and it's a battle of the green and golds here. Teacher inside, Callahan is camped at his flank. Sharton leads the way. Pressure comes from Blue Moon Stride. Right there from in third is Blazing Bridges, gapping slightly on cover now. Lions River Pride from in fourth. That's going to hustle up Jingra three wide from the backfield with L.A. Delight. They're at three quarters in 122, and they turn for home. Sharton lays it all on the line. Down the center, Blue Moon Stride. L.A. Delight is off cover, closing up now. In between Tequila Monday. Sharton's still there. Outside, Blue Moon Stride hangs tough. L.A. Delight, the grandstand side with a late push. Under a drive is Sharton in deep stretch. Sharton is still there. Sharton to win the Roses are red. A bounce back score for Sharton in 149-3. Charton uh, bounces back in a big way after that uh, mistake early last week that cost her in the elimination. Uh, no mistakes tonight, Tim Tietrich, and it looked like he had a game plan right from the word go. Uh, not kind of really. I kind of let her kind of tell me what she wanted to do off the gate, which I've always done, and today I did let her step pretty step forward pretty good to get an early position, and it worked out where I was going to make my way to the front, and I went ahead and did that. The mistake she made last week was that about it just a case of her wanting to do something different than what you wanted to do yeah you know she didn't want to listen to my audible <laughs> but uh you know she's a good mare and uh she's got her quirks but you know as much speed as she has she gets to overcome a lot of that i just wanted to ask you about how the track's playing tonight it appears that it's tough to win on the front end and it looked like she might even be in a little trouble halfway down the stretch what were you thinking um at the times i have had her on the front she's pretty lazy up there actually and then she she won't really go until she sees someone and she kept doing it and uh, i got nervous but i should have just sat there i think i'd have been okay and what is it about this particular race you've had a great record over the years just been lucky to find good horses and uh it's tough to do and it's a tough race to win but it's uh, always good to win those big races Speaking of that, we'll see you in the uh, Pepsi North America Cup again this year, and you've had success in that race in the past. Uh, two good efforts from your elimination drives last week, and you gave the vote of confidence to Dunwell. What should we read into that? Uh, it was a tough call. The other horse was really good. The other one got a little bit better post position, and uh, you know he, he showed winning more often than the other one. You know He only got beat one time through his last year and uh, once this year, but uh, I think he's a horse that uh, can go the whole mile. And it seems like a wide open race this year, and a lot of the connections seem confident in their horses. Uh, could you see either one of those horses winning with the right kind of trip? Oh, I, absolutely. You know, the inside draw horses, if they uh, can sit in there and not do much work, they're, they're players. And, you know, the elimination winners are all nice horses. And, you know, it's a tough field. And when you have to race to be first, second, or third, you know, the, usually the cream rises to the top. And, 
you know, you're going to see a really good final. All right, best of luck in that one, and congratulations. Thank you very much.